Hello dolls and gents and welcome back. I don't know where we left off on the planner, but you guys know I had so many birthdays this month that I didn't even have time to come um, show you what I've been doing to my planner. And I haven't been doing a lot to the prayerful planner. I had a bout of the flu and then I had birthdays and I just hadn't had time to get into it. Um, so I'm going to go through last week and this week. Um, you'll see a couple of stickers and stuff, but I really didn't have that much time to get into it. But I still wanted to show you guys. So I think we left off before Valentine's Day. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, Sunday, February 16th um, was church. I didn't do much to the planner. Got a couple of scriptures there. And what color we were supposed to wear. Let's see what we have. All right, and then Monday was the 17th. A couple of things that I needed to do there. I didn't decorate too much. You've got a uh, sticker down to the bottom. And then I put this little happy life and little heart there. Um, a couple of things that I needed to do. And then February 18th was a Tuesday. A couple of things that I needed to do there. I did put this sticker. This is one of the stickers from the prayerful planner community that they email you for free and i just used a big sticker print um the avery label papers that you get from office depot or wherever and put them in the printer and printed it it did cut off some of the bible there but it did pretty good so i do like they like that they send you some free stickers um via email through it you just have to have something uh paper to print it on or you can kind of print it on regular paper and then glue it down. If you can get that done um, without making any mistakes, you can do that. So I'm going to see what they send for next month. But that was really, really nice. Downloads from heaven. That's really cute. Downloads from heaven. And this one says quiet times with Jesus. So that was really, really cute. And that is Tuesday the 18th. So... Wednesday the 19th, I did not do too much. Today started it off with my brother's birthday. Um, he's on the 19th. I did have an interview at 9 a.m. and then I had to go to work and do payroll and stuff. And then I had another appointment. So I didn't decorate too much. Usually when I'm ripping and running all day, then I don't have time to like write in my planner or, or decorate it the way I want to. But I promise you I'm going to get better. Um, don't think because I'm not writing my prayers that I don't pray daily, but sometimes it's just so hard to get into it. And what I want to do is I want to write daily my prayers or how I'm feeling. I don't want to pre fill it out. Like I actually want to go to this page on Wednesday and really sit down and write how I'm feeling. But when I'm ripping and running and working at the same time, it is really, really, really hard for me to get my prayers written down. So I am going to get back on track, you guys with writing down my prayers because I feel like for me journaling writing even if I just write my feelings or how my day was it helps me I don't know about anybody else but it helps me and I'm sorry that I'm shaking I'm actually holding this and I don't know why I'm shaking um Thursday the 20th is my dad's birthday so I had a couple of things to do that day and then we were with daddy um that day I did go to work and I didn't decorate that much that day either. Just a lot of ripping and running around, getting him what he needs and getting his balloons and all the siblings pulling together and making sure we have him taken care of. So I didn't really have time to sit down and write. But I really need to make it a priority to sit down and, and write my day, even if it's at night in the bed and I don't. And I need to get back on that because it helps me to release Maybe some things I'm feeling or what I went through or just get it off my mind. I have to get stuff out of my head. I don't know if that makes sense, but I have to get stuff out of my head. So I definitely need to get back to it. Um, Friday the 21st is my sister's birthday. So it was my brother, my dad, and my sister. Um, and she was the 21st. And she went out of town for her birthday, so we didn't do that much. I pretty much worked all day, but I didn't have time to pull out my book. And then I had to leave work early for a, um ultrasound. And then that was the weekend. So we're going to do something with her when she gets back. Um, this is the one that's a travel nurse. If you follow me, you've seen her before and you've seen me post her on her birthday. She will be back in town the 26th or 27th. And we're going to do something then. Once again, I did not get to journal. Saturday the 22nd. What did I do Saturday? I don't remember. Nope. I'm trying to think. 
I don't remember what I did Saturday. Um, I had a couple of things that I wanted to order probably because Friday was payday. So usually what I usually do by Friday is I know what I want to order. I know how much I want to spend if there's anything I want to look into and order. So those are a couple of things that I wanted to get or remember. And once again, I did not journal. And on the days that I don't work, I need, I really need to make it a priority to take some time out to journal or uh, talk to God. So I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. Going into this week, which is the week we're in right now, because today's Tuesday, the 24th. So here is Sunday, the 23rd. It was Black History Month at the church. So we had to wear our African attire. And um, we also um, had dinner at the church. So I didn't write too much. It was really, really a good day. And I really should have wrote a lot. I, sh I had um, Thurgood Marshall for my Black History Fact. And um, I could have wrote that on here. So, yeah, I really, I don't take this to church with me, but I probably need to on Sundays. I have a, a different thing I write in for my Bible, but I probably need to come home and study the scriptures that are preached about or write about the scriptures that are preached about. So, your girls definitely got some work to do. Monday, the 24th, back to work it is. I didn't have any interviews or anything that Monday. I decorated, but I didn't get to write anything. These divas are so cute. They're so cute. I love my diva girls. Love my diva girls. So I definitely got to get back to it with that. Um, And today is Tuesday, the 25th. And I'm trying to write into it today. I'm trying to get back into it. Um, I just left an appointment this morning. I got another appointment this afternoon. And I got a couple of stickers down there. So I got this girl here. You know, she's all jazzed out. Letting y'all see her, you know, get her appointment on. So that's today. So after this video, I do have to leave and go to another appointment. Um, Wednesday's not here yet, but I'm going to upload this this weekend. So I'm showing you guys all the days in my decor tomorrow. Couple of more appointments. Got my little divas here. They're boss babes. They're getting it in. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And then I have her here with her cup of coffee. So I'm definitely trying to get back on track. So this is Wednesday. Thursday. I didn't do too much decor on Thursday yet. I don't have too much planned for Thursday yet. Some more may come after um today. I love this scripture. The tongue has the power of life and death, and, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 18, 21. And I think I'm going to highlight that with a highlighter, and I'm going to really focus on that scripture and focus on, we need to focus on watching our mouth and what we say to people. Even on YouTube, your little sloppy comments down below and coming for people and, and, and making people feel bad is not cool. And you really need to watch what you say, because a lot of things you say really come back on you. We all know that it comes from misery and people being miserable. Um, but yeah, need to definitely watch that mouth. So I'm loving that scripture, um, out dream yourself. And I just put that phone call sticker there. I'm pretty sure I'll have some type of phone calls to make by Thursday. Friday, I have my stickers here, hustle every day, work to do. I already know that I have some projects that we're going to be doing on the job on Friday. So I'll write those in beautiful minds, inspire others. And it is the weekend. So let me focus that for you. I'm coming. And that's Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday is the end of February. I put my nail appointment on the wrong day, so I tried to cover it up. Saturday is the end of February. So I did these little stickers here. Did this girl riding her bike. Dinner is on the wrong day, but maybe we will go out to dinner. So I left it there. Um, we usually get up Saturday morning and go walking and exercising, me and my husband. And then also usually Saturday evening before it gets dark, we walk again. So I walk two times on Saturday and I walk two times on Sunday because I don't, I just don't have time during the week to work out the way I used to. We used to go to the gym um, in our complex in the evening but my husband's schedule changed a little bit so it's hard for us to get over there so now i have to double up totally kills your girl totally kills your girl but i have to double up so here is saturday february 29th it is the end of the month the end of these birthdays for me i don't want to see another birthday the next birthday is mine so nope i have a brother in march 
All right. After that, the next birthday is mine. So that is all the way into Saturday. I hope you guys are enjoying your week, enjoying the month of February. I wish everyone nothing but blessings. Any suggestions, anything anybody want to talk about or has for me, hit me down below. You know I'll answer back. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.